Hi guys, Rhonda without an H here with you. Um, okay, two things that I want to let you know. One is if don't adjust your knob, it's my voice is two octaves lower. That's because I have a full blown cold. But the fabulous thing about it is you won't catch it from me. <laughs> we can visit and you won't catch my cold. How amazing and wonderful is that? The second thing I want to tell you is I am going to be out of town for a week. And because of this silly full-blown cold, I haven't had a chance to work ahead and do videos. So I hope that you will bear with me and that you will take the opportunity to look at some of my uh, earlier produced videos. And I will be back as soon as I can. All right. So this is week number 10, I believe. Yes. Week number 10 of our idea book challenge. And I have decided for this week, I want to keep it very, very simple. And so we are just making paperclip embellishments. I mean, how easy is that? So let's just take some of these guys off and I will show you and then I will show you very quickly how easy they are to make and how much fun. I mean, this is just, this is where you get your little itty bits and bobs and all your little scrap doodly doos <laughs> and put them together to make these fun little clips. I love, I love, I love, I love paper clip embellishments. They're just, they're easy to make and they're really, really fun. Okay, so I'm going to show you um, the method that I learned on these by Paula Forder. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing her last name correctly or not, but, and I will put her link below because she's the gal that I had first watched um, on these with the tickets. And of course, you know, since then I've sort of branched out and done some other things, but she was the first. Um, oh, and before I go into that, I have to show you just to verify, I don't believe, did I have week seven done? Did I do show you? This was Jean's, the craft stick, and I don't have any. And so I just wrapped my fabric over and over, and over, not my fabric, but my paper, over and over and over and glued and glued and glued until it was nice and stiff and made myself this paperclip embellishment here, which I, I think is super cute. And you saw week eight, and I have finished week nine of the shaving cream paper that Jean showed us just this last week. So, and it's stinky. <laughs> this smells a little bit like soap. So, but I, I did, I played homage to fall. And so that's why I did these orange, yellows, and greens. I thought it was just really pretty. And I did mine fairly soft and covered, you know, some of my uh, papers in my my book here. Okay, so for this week, I just took a coffee dyed ledger paper and stitched it over this so I would have a for uh, a substrate to put my embellishments on. All right, so let's put this away. <clears throat> and please excuse <clears throat> any and all of that clearing of the throat and that kind of thing, but that's with a cold, that's you're going to get that. All right, so I started with two tickets. <coughs> Excuse me. And they started out with this kind of a deep pink color. And I went ahead and I uh, painted and I 
I just did a whole bunch in a line like like those I did both sides kind of so that I could just do a whole bunch of them and then take them in half or in by twos so I ripped it off like this and then folding it like this so I can decide whether I want to use the front or the back and I like you know the front with the numbers on and and of course if you want it to stand out more you don't have to paint or anything you can just use it as is which would be awesome as well and then you get a paper clip you get a paper clip and you can use different sizes different um, types like for instance this is and and all of these that I have are plastic coated you can get them that aren't but those that I have are so I can still use this uh, long one if I choose and I've used some long ones I'll just turn the backs over you can see here I've done that but and I've also done them this other way but for this project and showing you I'm going to use the small one and what we're going to do is we're going to put the small end in that's going to be covered up okay so I have more clip on the outside to attach to my page and then and then and then she said we are pulling out and this is Paula's idea and I thought it was fabulous she uh, recommended that you use medical tape and it's inexpensive and it sticks well and I tried it and I liked it and so I am using that so we will go ahead and get this around and that just secures this down uh, eventually I'm going to glue this down or I could use a double-sided tape or glue whatever I choose to do but for now this is going to keep it secure all right now the next thing I have to decide is which way am I going to use the clip am I going to put it on the top of a page do I want to clip it to the side of a page or this side or do I want to clip from the bottom those are all decisions that you have to make and, and it's a good thing to do that before you make it otherwise they'll all be the very same and you may not have what you want so for this thing today I think we're going to have it go in on the side of the page so this is going to be my top up here and this will be the bottom and it will go in like this okay so let me bring a little paper here so that when I'm gluing and whatnot I don't make a mess all right so you basically put some different fabrics and papers on just little scraps and I am let's see <laughs> as you can see I have a few scraps oh my goodness yes I do okay this looks very cool this is part of an envelope let's see okay Let's maybe tear that off a little bit and get rid of those move that to the side okay I like that I'm going to use a little bit of glue just to anchor it down and I'm going to turn it just a tad bit 
so that it has a little more interest. Okay. All right. So there is that. Now let's dig into our little bit of fabrics. Fabricas. Let's see. Uh, that should give us plenty, plenty. All right. We've got, this is a nice color. If I use that, do I want it scrunched? And I think maybe we'll just cut that off a little bit. And we'll just sort of pull that and make it a little less organized. A little messy. We'll pull some of these out. So it, it really is just using up just little bits and pieces. Seriously. Just little tiny bits. Alright. That looks good. Here's another little piece of paper. I mean, I'm just not really thinking too much about this one. A little bit here, a little bit there. Let's cut a little snippet of this old. This is really, really old lace. Okay, I'm liking that. And let's open it up. Let's go ahead and glue a little bit more. Glue our pieces together. I am sort of layering this. And just daubing some paint. Or paint. <laughs> I'm daubing some glue on there. Um, okay. And now I want an image. And I have printed off these earlier. And they're really small. They're by an inch, by about an inch and a quarter. So I'm just going to go ahead and round the corners. Not even using a corner rounder, just kind of trying it just to see. And that, that looks fine. So we just pop that on like that. You can see we've got the layering. All right. I like it. Now, I could, if I wanted, I could put a little bling. I could put some, uh, like, for instance, I've done, where, 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 where's the one? Like this one, I added a little bling, and I stitched some of these so you definitely I mean I love to do the stitching but I'm trying to keep it simple for those of you that don't and now I'm going to go ahead and put glue and you could use like I said you could use double-sided tape as well we are just going to glue that together we'll just kind of hold it and you just want to let it go ahead and and uh, dry. Let it dry. And you have an adorable little embellishment. You've got this cute little paper clip to go somewhere in your journal. All right, guys. Keep it simple. It should be a lot of fun. Until next time, have a fabulous day. Bye now.